Well, guys, another spring is upon us and it was time to move my figs outside of the hoop house. Let's go take a look at them. So it's getting warmer out, guys, and I rolled up the sides and all the figs had been piled up in there, all them seven gallon figs. Now I've shown you these. These are all the figs that I, I propagated last winter inside the house and then these beautiful in fact let's go take a look at this let's go let's just climb back in here let's go take a look these look at i mean there's so much more growth since i just posted that video like a week ago but look at all this it's so absolutely beautiful 100 percent success rate i mean you just can't beat that you can't beat 100 percent unless you're in fourth grade like my oldest daughter or second grade and you get extra credit on your spelling test but it's a whole different story. Look at that little black Madeira he's coming out. I think he's got good roots down in there. He's putting on some top growth. There's the other black Madeira KK. And we've got everything just growing on beautifully and fine. And here's the comparison. Now I know this video, I wanna show you my big figs, but here's the comparison. These, this is kind of what I wanted to show you guys when I did this. When I posted that last video on propagating these figs, I want to see how they do going directly outside if I propagate them later in the year. And here's what you get. So 100% success rate. And then the, the green leaves are just so beautiful. Let's compare that next to these. Now, these are all doing fine. These are all the ones indoors. I don't worry about this. Sometimes people get on the forums and they get online, they're all, they're all panicky and they're going, oh my gosh, my fig's dying, what's going on? And they, they get their fig that they, they grew indoors, they get their fig that they grew indoors and it looks like this now. It's outside and it looks like this. And they go, oh my gosh, it's dying. It's not dying. This thing is healthy, it's viable, it's got good solid roots and it's gonna be a beautiful Martinenka Ramada later on in the summer it just it, it was grown inside look at that we'll just peel that back we got all kinds of green growth right there it was growing in here's to prove that this is that ben's golden riverside i was able to get a hold of that right directly from ben we did a little trade over the winter but the leaves don't look that good i had it inside it's 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 just not looking that fantastic but look at the top growth it's been out here for a month, month and a half now, and it's finally starting to, that bud's opening up. Another month, these guys will be growing well. But my point is, I love putting these guys directly outside. Look at the difference in how things turn out. Look at that, just absolutely gorgeous, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fig. But that's the difference anyway. Let's go out and take a look at these big guys over here. Isn't that a beautiful roadie? pomegranate splash I know I'm a little bit like a pinball here but everything's just blooming right now and I'm so excited about all of it but there they are I moved them from this spot right here had them all piled in right here and I moved them out and now this year I'm doing something that I did two years ago but I didn't do last year and I instantly regretted it I didn't have self-watering little containers underneath these guys last year and they didn't do as well but the year before I did and they did fantastic now you can see some of them are a little bit further behind that's just the varieties I mean this is a black Madeira KK it probably needs I mean it, it'll do ideal when we get later in the summer here but you know if it was growing in the Madeira Islands it'd probably already be leafed out like this guy but if you look at this, this is my Italian 258 that came from Herman. And it, it's already put on tons of new growth. It just looks absolutely beautiful. But they're all a little bit different. They're all doing different things at different times, but I love the variety. Anyway, the self-watering pots, absolutely fantastic. I've never gotten better results than with these self-watering pots and have them just constantly have a supply of moisture to these guys, especially when the heat comes on. But I want to show you guys something. This video is about one specific thing. And I'm really excited about this fig. I, I, at first I wasn't even going to keep it because I wanted varieties that I knew, but now I'm absolutely convinced I'm keeping this thing and it's right here. Look at how many Braba figs are on that. Do you see that? Look at that. Look at all the Braba figs. This is a young tree. I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 Brabas on this little tiny tree right here. And do you know what variety this is, guys? I actually named this one myself. Jim Wilson. 
I am naming this variety Jim Wilson till somebody can tell me what variety it is, if it's some known variety, I don't know, but this is the homestead fig that we got across the street on a 40 acre homestead. The guy that introduced me to figs, because he told me, he's the guy that actually built this pole barn here. But he told me that he grew up on that 40 acres across the road and he said, there's an old fig tree back there. And if you haven't seen that whole series, click on the link over here. Or I'll probably put it in the description down below, the first one. And anyway, he, he told me to go over there. There's an old fig tree. And I went over there and I found it. And this is it. And I, I did send some cuttings through the mail a year or so ago. People were interested in it. But, the, you know, I don't really know what variety it is. So I don't know if that even matters or not. But it produces so heavily in the figs, man, were outstanding. And it, I, as I made that series last year, I went through and uh, I went through and finally did one where it was super ripe. And it was like, it was such a wonderful, it was what got me hooked on figs, man. It was the best tasting fruit I had ever had. And it got me super excited about these things. And I'm definitely keeping this variety. Like I said, who knows? I mean, this thing was planted by his parents probably. 50 years maybe 60 years ago so who knows where it came from or what i mean i have no idea but i'm naming this thing jim wilson here on my property in honor of the man who introduced me to figs because it came from his parents property he's uh, just turned uh 70 years old he'll be 71 soon here and he grew up on that property back in the back in the 40s and so pretty cool anyway lots of lots of huge huge bravas and these these figs on this tree get gigantic over time but if anybody thinks they want to take a shot at figuring out what this originally could have been i mean i don't know i don't have any idea i'm just getting into the fig world over the last couple of years so i'm still learning quite a bit but uh yeah aren't they looking great guys aren't those figs just looking absolutely fabulous this is kind of my makeshift setup to get them out in the sun i'm going to come up with a better setup here eventually but uh it's working for now so what do you guys think the jim wilson fig in my mind she's a keeper for sure and she produces so abundantly in this area if you're curious i'm in zone 8b and this fig performs fantastic does well in the ground tons of bray buzz and the taste is out of this world and like i said if you guys haven't seen that video i'm just going to put a link up here in the corner and probably down below there of i think it's part five of that series so that you can just see exactly the end result the flavor of that fig so i hope you guys like this video if you did hit the like button subscribe if you want to follow along have a fantastic week and i'll see you in the next video adios